The Cleveland pools are looking their age, over 200 years old, but after a huge community effort, workers finally started to bring the glory days back. In its heyday, it would be packed with families, many children learning to swim here. Gosh, it's like walking back 50 years when I spent my youth down here. Um, it's almost as cold, but not quite. A very young picture of me in a pair of unfortunately white speedos, and I think I've probably put on about a pound and a half a year since then. Like so many outdoor pools, these were closed in the 80s and the £8 million restoration will be difficult. There's plans to have heated water using power from the river. The only access for all machinery and materials is via the river. Everything comes and goes on a barge. It's, it's challenging, just all round really. Um, and then to have the, the river access thrown in as well is just a, an additional challenge which we, uh, we strive upon added about a million pounds to the project and um, so that's been a you know hard conversation with a few of our funders just to to get them on board no pun intended um, with what's required to make it work before any work begins tons of silt has to be removed all being well it should all be ready and complete by summer next year and these will be the changing rooms this will be a local pool for local people say the trustees and today, many locals watching the work were excited to remember their time spent here. Came down as whatever we were wearing and then went home with whatever we were wearing. <laughs> so yeah, it was re really good times, good times. And it's good to know that it's opening again. Are you going to get in it? Oh, damn right I am, yeah. <laughs> and if you're one of those looking forward to that first dip, you can follow the restoration progress by searching Cleveland Pools. Tracy Miller, BBC Points West, Bath.